The issue of psychological rehabilitation cannot be considered only a psychological rehabilitation. There are now more than 360,000 veterans, combatants. This is a huge group which requires constant social support, psychological help and quite often medical assistance. Psychological rehabilitation cannot be on a targeted basis for a short-term period, twice a year, and so on. Psychological support and rehabilitation in the future is a continuous and long-lasting process. There is no pill, there's no lekarstva for helping veterans. There's nothing that is one fix. Take this and everything simple to do It's very complex. Psychology as a science has passed a long and thorny path from almost complete non-recognition to one of the most significant sciences in the world. It's an important area, which, with the help of specialists, gives a person an understanding of how to feel, to see, to realize and analyze this or that situation. The first practical psychologist appeared in Ukraine only in the early 1990s. Today, this profession is topical and in great demand. The tragic events on the Maidan and the military conflict in eastern Ukraine have contributed to this to a certain extent. Society highlighted this need. It required specialists who could provide assistance. We were struck by the very fact that a state, which was allegedly friendly to us, attacked us. And this contributed first and foremost to the anger of ordinary folk, which led to the need to give assistance. At the time, the healthcare system was good at providing medical care. As for necessary psychological help, this had not yet been provided by the state. The state faced a serious task of training psychological staff, ensuring their competence in building a professional environment that could find the right approach to the rehabilitation of combatants. We have been actively involved in the training of psychology specialists since 2015 because they were needed not only on the front line, but also in hospitals treating war veterans. This training cannot be completed, as it always needs to be improved, because both combatants and their families require psychological help today. A painful sense of injustice often leads to conflict both at home and at work. The issue of professional rehabilitation arose for the first time in 2014. This included medical, physical and psychological rehabilitation. Only by combining these three components was it possible to ensure combatants a complete recovery and return them to civilian life. Without a comprehensive approach to treatment and all-around rehabilitation, it's impossible to improve a soldier's health. It's impossible to treat one illness without treating another. Only a comprehensive approach will enable somatic and psychological problems to be treated and to have an effect. The rehabilitation of combatants should be considered from a national security perspective, explains Yuri Hrenenko, director of the Veterans Hospital. The medical institution is located in the village of Tsibli in the Kyiv region. Since the start of hostilities in eastern Ukraine, more than 5,000 servicemen have been treated and rehabilitated here. By rejuvenating the health of those soldiers who fought in the anti-terrorist operation, we return them to a healthy lifestyle and to society, and in so doing create a healthy, combat-ready reserve for our armed forces, since they have fighting experience. We should focus on providing psychological rehabilitation and support in the combat zone, during actual service and after they have left. So psychological rehabilitation is a constant and complex concept by those who provide psychological support or rehabilitation services. The Ministry of Veterans Affairs was established in Ukraine in December 2018. 
The relevant organization serves the purpose of forming and implementing state policy on Social Security for war veterans, including persons who have performed exceptional service for their homeland, participants of the Revolution of Dignity who suffered, and members of their families. Legislative support for effective Social Security for combatants is one of the key areas of the ministry's work. The first thing we should talk about is the law on the status of veterans to determine who veterans in Ukraine actually are. The law on the status of war veterans provided for the creation of the Unified Register of War Veterans. This is a large database about each and every veteran. Each profile contains information on what kind of fighting, stress and psychological support or treatment a veteran has received. The standardization of the work of psychologists and physical therapists needs to be resolved at the legislative level. Standards for the provision of psychological and physical assistance have not yet been developed. There is international experience, and if it is combined with the experience that we have in Ukraine, it can help to assess the quality of psychological and physical assistance. The benefits promised by the state should be provided in their entirety to troops. After all, experts say that any conflict that arises in everyday life is provoked by the failure of society to provide benefits foreseen by law. The Ministry of Veterans Affairs should ensure the fulfillment of promises made by the state. Our vision of the ministry is first and foremost as a coordinator. This is a political body that will function in order to support a particular veteran. As for the source of their funding, from the central or local budget, this is merely the political component. David Plaster is the head of an NGO involved in many veteran projects in Ukraine, from providing psychological support and physical rehabilitation to ecology and education. David created a support platform for veterans. Within that platform, it's not just psychology, so I'll briefly talk about some of the other parts. For example, in physical rehabilitation, we work with organizations that have centers across Ukraine. Uh, the Kuzmen Brothers Foundation, for example, who has a Cherkasi Shatomir in now Kyiv. We also work with the Veterans Dozen, which is General Horilov and Vadim Sudarenko, working with sports uh, rehabilitation, with showing Ukrainian veterans around the world when they go to Scotland and, and June, and also the Marine Corps Marathon in Washington, D.C., and its partnerships with Ukrainians veterans and uh, other veterans from around the world. The NGO helps veterans to start up and run their own business, as well as to learn English. This is because English is the language of European Ukraine, says David. Over the past three years, more than 20,000 foreign language lessons have been held for entrepreneurs in Kyiv and in other regions of Ukraine. That is why it's interesting. So the veterans, by helping veterans learn English, which gives them new skills, new possibilities, while helping the military learn English, that helps to prepare them, I feel, better for rehabilitation if they develop PTSD. And not all will, or at different levels. That could have an effect. And if that helps, that'd be amazing, because it would help with NATO integration, it would help with their business afterwards, their life afterwards, just their overall development. The second international scientific and practical conference held at the Ukrainian State Medical and Social Center for War Veterans in Sibley was dedicated to the psychological rehabilitation and social adaptation of combatants. The event was attended by ATO veterans, psychologists, neurologists, psychiatrists and social workers. Leading experts from Ukraine, the United States, Poland and Austria shared their experiences and presented their own methods for the rehabilitation and mental health of ATO veterans. The conference was dedicated primarily to summing up the brief conclusions drawn from these five years of hostilities. It is aimed at training experts and identifying problems in training, psychological work, support and rehabilitation of military personnel and their children and families. Almost 360,000 people in Ukraine have now received the status of combatant. International experience and studies prove that they all need psychological help from professionals. Therefore, the comprehensive rehabilitation and social adaptation of troops is currently the main task for all relevant government agencies.